Hi everyone, my name is Adarsh Mishra and today we are going to solve our very first question on Code Chef. So as I have told you that we are going to solve a beginner level question first and then we will move to medium hard and then peer level. Okay, so I hope that all of you have logged in and you have made an account in Code Chef and Hackering. And if you haven't, just pause the video and then just go to CodeChef.com and then there you can log in from your any ID like Google, Facebook or you can make your own ID on Code Chef. Okay, so today we are going to solve our very first question and the question is all about ATM. So the title of the question is ATM and its code is HS08 test. So when you will open this code chef site, so you can see that here I am other zero to Mishra and there you will go to practice and learn section and then you, you have to select this thing practice problems by difficulty level and then you will find that there are so many level beginner and then you have to click on beginner and there you will find this ATM thing okay if you don't want to do all this thing then you have to just click on practice and learn then here search problem by tax from there you can write this tag HS08 TEST I will give that tag in description also and you will easily get this ATM question okay so let's go and let's read that what this question is all about so here we have Pooja would like to withdraw X US dollar from an ATM. Okay. The cash machine will only accept the transaction if X is a multiple of 5. Okay. Like in India, the minimum amount of money which we can uh, take out from withdraw from ATM is about 100 rupees. And then 100, then 200. So it should be a multiple of 100. So logically, if we see that uh, in US, uh, they can only withdraw multiple of five dollars means you can withdraw five dollar ten dollar fifteen twenty thirty five means multiple of five okay and puja's account balance has enough cash to perform the withdrawal transaction including bank charges and it is mandatory that if you want to withdraw some amount of money then your bank balance should be higher than that so here the bank is charging 0 0.5 dollars to calculate puja's account balance after an attempted transaction okay so we will get two input the first input will be x x means the amount of cash which puja wishes to withdraw okay and the second one is y with two digit of precision puja's initial account balance and we have to provide the output like output the account balance after the attempted transaction given as a number with two digit of precision okay if there is not enough money in the account to complete the transaction output the current bank balance okay so there could be three cases the first one is successful transaction in this first case puja wants to withdraw 30 dollars from the atm and she has 120 dollars uh, as a bank account okay so this is a valid transaction why because 30 is a multiple of 5 and also the amount which she wants to withdraw is less than her account balance so output will be output should be 90 dollars but bank is already applying 0.5 dollars while withdrawing so it will be 89.5 which will be left the second uh, test case could be incorrect withdrawal amount means it could be possible that she is she wants to withdraw some amount of money which is not multiple of five so in that case she wants to withdraw 42 dollars and she had 120 dollars in her bank account so here 42 is not a multiple of five so this is not a valid transaction so we will provide 120 dollar means her bank account balance will provide output as a bank account balance 120 dollar point zero zero here this is the important thing because whenever you used to uh, print float values then around six decimal places are there uh, after point so we have to also focus on this thing here some somewhere it was written about two yeah two digits of precision means you have to give output with two digits of precision not three or four or five okay then there is a third test case that insufficient funds okay so here puja wants to withdraw 300 dollars and in her bank account there is only 120 dollars so it is never possible that bank is going to give you more than your account balance this is not possible then in this case uh, this is also an invalid request so what we are going to do we will output 120 dollars okay so these are some three test cases so from this question I have got this thing that we have two variables x and y okay so x resembles that how much money we want to withdraw and y is our account balance 
okay so x should be means the amount which you want to withdraw should be a multiple of 5 it is the first case second case is that amount should be less than our bank balance okay so we will focus on these two things and let's go to our coding area so i am going to solve this question in python ideally so here we have you can use any other id it will work so i hope that you are able to see that what i am going to write okay so in this case we have 30 as an integer and 120.00 as a floating point value so we have to take these two values into a list so let me tell you that how can we do that so what we are trying to get we are getting a string why string because here this is treated as a string like a space separated and we will convert this string like in a sub parts like the first sub part will be 30 and the second second sub part will be 120.00 and it is separated by a space that's why we have written here dot split a split used to divide your string into different sub parts like here i have not passed any argument here and i can also write like this the split this input string uh, by spaces the number of spaces you will get you have to break that string okay so if i am not passing here anything that then it is default that this split will consider a space okay so we have got one list and uh, we have two values uh, our two values uh, let us write it like this x comma y is equal to index of list at zero position and list at one so we will get our two values x and y okay so what was our first case we have to check whether x is a multiple of five or not so let's check okay, if x mod 5 is equal to equal to 0 and if x is a multiple of 5 then we will do some certain task and if it is not the case then what we will do we will print the bank balance because if there is any invalid input then we have to just print its bank balance so this is a method like here we don't use comma here so this is the method of format specified to print something so we are trying to print the value of bank balance and we also have to focus on this thing that we have to print our output with a two decimal two digit precision so for that we, we will write here 0.2 means after decimal there should be only two digits okay okay so let's come to our if part the our withdrawal amount is a multiple of five then what then we will check if our withdrawal amount plus 0.5 dollars so this money is less than or is equal to our bank balance and if this is the case then what we will do uh, you can write here you can make a variable like left over and left is equal to our bank balance minus x plus 0.5 dollars means our withdrawal money plus 0.5 dollars okay so we have got left here and then we have to print the same thing let me copy this code here so we will print our bank balance which is left so now our code is completed so let's check whether there is any sort of error or not like i can't see anything like here we are getting two values as an input so here we have two values as an input this is integer this is float and list zero means integer value so we have to type cast also because this is a string okay i forgot that i'm sorry and here we have float value then we will type cast this value of y as float so let's check our code here we have this is asking for input 13 over 20 so we are getting 120 so why are we getting 120 um is there any type error or something if our value for withdrawal amount is divisible by 5 is a multiple of 5 then we will check whether by adding 0.5 it is lower than our bank account balance and then we will have our left account balance and here okay i have to print left over balance so let's check it out 13 120 89.50 so this is working correctly let's check this input um let's run it 
one more time and this is showing 120 so this is correct and 300 and 120 let us check this one also and here we have okay so this is not showing something oh, oh I forgot that case I think like if our 300 is a multiple of 5 okay and uh, oh here like one case was left that uh, if our 300 plus 0.5 means 300.5 dollar is less than equal to 120 so this is not the case then we will print y 300 and 120 so answer is 120 so now this is correct okay so that's how we will solve our first question so this is a python code for that and i know that it can be reduced like you can reduce it by yourself and if you are thinking any other logic for this question then you can also tell me in comment section well this is the only method by which i have solved this question so if you have learned something from this video then do like and share these videos among your friends also and one more thing don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel because i am going to upload regular videos about these course chef solutions so today i have completed atm problem and tomorrow we will complete any other problems so i will request you to complete this course chef series with me like after watching these questions you can go and solve the same question on course chef also so it will be very beneficial for you Click on these videos right here and be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.